Developing news in downtown Los Angeles in the Kardashian defamation lawsuit. Kardashian momager Kris Jenner making an explosive accusation on the stand about her son's ex, Black China. That just part of day five salacious new details in court. Fox 11's Susan Harrisuna, she joins us now live outside the courthouse. Susan. It was an interesting court day, Marla and Alex, because it ended early, 2 o'clock. The jury was sent home. Black China's attorney appealed to the judge that she wasn't feeling well, and because she has no co-counsel, there was really no alternative but to send them home. But earlier in the day, she tried to lay out the possible animosity that Kris Jenner might have for her client. No comment from Black China as she arrives for day five of her defamation suit against the Kardashians. On the stand for a second day, self-named momager Kris Jenner. She endured questions from China's attorney about an incident in December 2016. In a deposition, Jenner had said she was 100,000% sure China attempted to murder Rob Kardashian in an alcohol-fueled fight. She was told China held a gun to her son's head, wrapped a phone cord around his neck, and hit him with a metal pole. Jenner choked back tears as her voice caught, admitting she was very angry, very upset, and felt sad. Not only because she loves her son, she said, but the fight, according to Jenner, came 60 days after Kim Kardashian was held at gunpoint and robbed in a Paris residence. Jenner's testimony was interrupted by virtual testimony, a former co-president of the company Bunin Murray that produced Robin China's show. Under questioning by the Kardashian attorney, Jeff Jenkins said the concept of the show was Rob and China in love, but by the end of season one, he testified the two couldn't be in the same room together. And he went on to say that E never greenlit a second season. Jenkins claimed he tried to coach and coax China to seek counseling with Rob for their sake and for the show, but he testified she used an expletive to say no. Attorney Brian Claypool speaks to the challenge China and her attorney face to prove she lost income and her career, thanks to the Kardashians. Unfortunately for black China, she has to first prove that she had a contractual agreement to go into the second year. You can't interfere with contractual relations if you didn't have a two year contract. She had her and Rob had a one year agreement with an option. All right, still to take the stand, Kylie Jenner. Now, Kylie Jenner dated rapper Tyga after China, and apparently there was some strife during that time period as well, until all was better once Rob and China got together. So that part will be interesting as well. Reporting live in downtown Los Angeles, I'm Susan Hirasuna, Fox 11 News.